So does it technically create a person, then alter it to an employee and add the extra member? Mm, not really. Um, you can you could think of it like that conceptually, but an employee has all of the inherited members from person. So an employee has a first name and a last name. Well, how about this? Let's go ahead and I'm going to add a, a public void do stuff method here. And do stuff method stuff is going to simply say stuff has been done. Okay, everybody good with this method? It's efficient. Yeah. So now in my in uh, so now I'm going to say employee one dot do stuff. And when I hit F11, we're going to jump into the person class. But remember, we aren't a person. We're an employee. But because the employee type inherits all of these members, we get all that functionality. Okay, uh, da, da, da. so we don't have to call base and just assign first name and last name in employee CTOR. No, we can do whatever we want here. We could say ASDF, ASDF if I wanted to. And if we run this thing, you'll see there's an ASDF, ASDF employee. Uh, does it make two data types for the same person, one employee type and one person type? Nope, it creates one type of type employee that just happens to have, imagine that the C-sharp compiler copied and pasted all of the functionality from person into employee. So we are using the parents constructor by using base. Yes, this invokes the parent constructor. Can you show the code for the get int method? Yeah, that's just, it's very similar to get string except for it returns an int. Um, Dave, if you took out the base keyword altogether, you get a compiler error. I just want to double check. This is this is the reason we have to do that. It all comes down to the fact that we have a constructor that takes parameters. Yes. Yes. In the base. If I if I didn't have this constructor, then you'll notice that down here, this becomes an error. I can still do this actually if I wanted to. This still works, but it's actually not required. I could have simply have done this. Because the, bar the parent class has a constructor and only one constructor, and that constructor takes in parameters that must be filled upon instantiation. Because of those things, we have to use the base keyword here on all of the constructors we add to the employee type. 